Okay, in the last video, we had seen um, how we have we have used this this data set, and and we want to to uh, build a model. So basically, our data was having uh, uh, you know two attributes, and we were trying to predict uh, which product was being purchased uh, uh, based on the time spent on web and time spent on the product uh, page, uh, and and based on these two inputs, we are trying to to predict the product product being purchased, and we are kind of. Uh, finished off with building the model with all of these details and 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 also uh, the scoring part. We had done all of these in the IPython no notebook step by step for each. That's all the code about. And uh, now we start with the next important part. So yeah. So okay, we have a model ready. We have used Keras. We have we have a model dot dot h uh, five file which we have saved here. So that's our model. Uh, how do we operationalize it for for the the users? We have this IPython notebook, but this is not if, if uh, you know enough. So we want to score this mo uh, you know use this model to score across uh, at random or a request response uh, in a request response way where a, where a request is made with these two inputs and uh, that is your these two times and we want to predict the product that is the output that should be should be the output. What are the options that we have? So uh, well. I'm from Microsoft, so I would use the Azure stack to demonstrate this this problem and how we can solve this, this with Microsoft Azure uh, and how efficient it would be. Uh, and uh, you know, I will try and call out certain certain things which might be really helpful to you. So to start with, okay, let's go on to Azure. So, well, let's just hit my home. Let's see what I have. So I have a resource group. Uh, and the resource group is called uh, data science that's that's the base data science resource group and it is under the subscription Visual Studio Ultimate uh, and then for this resource uh, group what I have is I have provisioned a Microsoft uh, Azure machine learning exper experimentation uh, workbench and then I have data science uh, Azure machine learning experimentation model management so model management is, is where we will use uh, what we'll use to to deploy our models uh, into production now let's start looking into it so if uh, uh, once you you know uh, basically provision your experimentation uh, Azure machine learning experimentation uh, service you would have you will you'll get uh, called Azure Machine Learning Workbench on your desktop as a, as a, as a desktop app, so so you can uh, use that. So this is my workspace, Keshav uh, workspace, and then I have provisioned a project here called Predict Product. Uh, once I do that, I uh, once you basically create a project from scratch, you will get certain files coming through, already created as a template. So uh, and then you can use your edit keyword. You go to edit, and, and then you. Uh, would get an option to use VS Code or your PyCharm. So um, I go with the VS Code here. So this is where I, s I, I come back. Uh, and this is my entire code that I have worked with so far in solving the problem. So essentially you will find some, some of the files which are really important. You have the train.py and the score.py which you will start up with. So, so okay, the train.py essentially is, is the Python file for training your model so it's, it's, the, it's the same model the entire code is, is the same uh, and okay the same code is available with uh, for you on my github so you can always go back to my github and and, and use this uh, link to basically just download all of all of this code that I have that I have there and try your hands on there but I'll just walk you through what I have done to operationalize this model so so yeah the, the, the code that we had written so far on this uh, IPython notebook I have more or less replicated the same here actually and if, if you see here I'm just using the Keras the, the model and, and and then I'm hitting hitting these the same model sequences I'm in uh, uh, I'm in the same this is the same uh, model architecture and it's, it's virtually the same code if you look at it it's, it's just the same code uh, once you have written the train and, and you've trained your model the next step for you is to is to do the scoring part a and that's where you have to be careful with so in this there's, there's no big deal in the train uh, of a training uh, dot, dot Python uh, file you just have to save your 
trained model and I, and this is my saved model here so predict purchase model.h5 saved from the training file that's it so you just prepare a trained file and, and, and save your model here the important part is I'm demonstrating the, the .h5 file, H5 file which is rare in, in Microsoft demonstrations you'll file only pickle, pickle files and how we can handle this because most of us most of us today work on the, the Keras enabled or TensorFlow enabled uh, deep neural net models and although Microsoft says on its website that we, we, we support uh, uh, the, the Keras but there is not, not a lot of demonstrations there so, so we have to let's just see how we can do that next is the score file score Python file and, and, and there are a couple of functions here so these are just the default these are the ones that I have added the rest of them are just default and will come along with the template when you start a new project uh, the important part is see so I've just added the NumPy the pandas and and the Keras model because I would need that to load my saved model so the idea here is for the score Python file is to load the model and use that to do a sample scoring so I'll pass a sample value and I'll just try to see load the model and see uh, if the model is able to predict fine and I would want to do a service schema file so service schema file is nothing but the JSON enabled uh, template which is how your your API will be configured because you would want a certain template for the service uh, to to kind of adhere to so it's like it's, it's, it's just like a configuration service configuration so it's just a schema declare so next once you do that you will have an init file which is just for the loading so it just has has two lines I declare a global model variable and then load the model uh, from the directory the second part I, I've made this super easy so it's, it's all very easy here and next is just the run so it just uses the model that predict classes and it takes an input that is a data frame and then it just predicts the value so why dot predict is, is, is the predicted value and then it's going to classify that and, and return back as a JSON string so that's it so it will return back which is the product that is being uh, you know um, used or, or which is the predicted product the next part is the main that's all so you had an init function you have the declaration you have the init function the run function and the main so the main is, is also super easy I've just imported uh, uh, the columns time spent on web and time spent on product and and I've created a dummy data frame with an input and the columns and this sample input becomes a data frame then I call the init to basically load the model and then I run the result with the sample input so uh, and then print out the results that's all super easy I don't think this, there's a problem understanding in all this code and then the last piece of the scoring is generating the schema so the input is is the data frame here uh, basically the sample input data frame here and I declare the data types as pandas and then I generate the schema so the schema file that this is this will be generated when you run this this score Python and then you just have to click it here and say run Python file in terminal so it will it'll run this this score similarly first you would need to do that for the train and this you would do, do to the score and once this is done your your project is more or less ready the other important file which you would need is the conda dependency which is really important because your containers need your your so I'll come to the model management part but yeah you would your con container would need uh, your docker container would need some of the dependencies to be installed now by default the pickle file our, 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 our model is actually dot h5 a keras model so by default we would need to import the environment so if you see here all of these commands will not be there in your template you would need to add them so I need a tensorflow I need my keras because my keras needs to run on top of tensorflow the h5 py and the numpy so I have added these so when and I'll pass this file name conda dependencies when I'm trying to create the environment for the services now that's really important why so that's because you would need these this uh, dependent uh, modules to be present the packages to be present for your score to to be able to run against okay 
So I hope this is clear enough. This is very important because this is the crux of it because if you don't include this in your corner dependencies, your Docker will not have this dependent modules. So you really need that. Okay, I think we're good with this, all the, the, the codes here. The next important part is now the model management part. Now, I think let's, let's, um, take a pause here and, and, and let's look at the next video wherein I will uh, explain the different models which are really required uh, I mean different ways which uh, by which you can you can operationalize your model so so yeah stay tuned for the next video